Hello mga kamagaran, welcome to tayo ngayon dito sa Teacher Anjan TV. Kasama niyo po ako, si Sir Noel. At ang ating lesson for today ay yung tinatawag natin Intermolecular Forces. Ayan. So makikita niyo yung GIF natin dito. Ano? Hindi yan yung mga iniisip ninyo. Okay? So, stop. <laughs> okay? Ito yung nagre-representa sa polarity ng molecules natin. Anong napansin ninyo? The positive is getting attracted to negative. Yan. Before we start, ang intermolecular forces, okay, comes from the words na inter and molecular. Meaning sa loob. Mo, loob ng ating molecule. Okay. There are forces around it that attract and even repel to each other. Yan. So, Meron tayong apat na fundamental forces of nature na kailangan nating matutunan. Okay? Itong apat na ito. Okay? Paki-take note na lang itong apat na ito. Alright? Punta muna tayo dito sa strong nuclear force. Pag sinabi natin strong nuclear force, ito yung pinakamalakas sa apat forces of nature. Just kasi siya yung nagbabind ng protons and neutrons dun sa nucleus ng atom. This is a very powerful force. Okay? Makikita ang example dito yung pagbomba sa Japan gamit ang atomic bomb. Strong nuclear force yung ginamit na uh, force of nature doon. Next, electromagnetic force. This force binds electrons in the nucleus of the atom. Ayan. So, the electromagnetic force, ayan, this represents dito sa ating uh, itong Rutherford model. O oh, yan. Diba? These are the electrons. They are bind by the electromagnetic force. Ayan. Next. Weak nuclear force. The force that is responsible for radioactive decay. Ayan. Na, na-discuss ko na ito dun previous. Okay, pag sinabing decay, there are times na ang element ay hindi niya na madala ang kanyang mga neutrons ito. Kaya nung ginagawa ng uh, element, they tend na mag-release ng kanyang, okay, ng kanyang neutron. And it takes a weak nuclear force to do that. So, ang gagawin niya is, um, they detach themselves from the proton, nag, pati electron, okay, papa, papalayo, at nagre-release ng tinatawag natin anti-neutrino. Yan decay ang tawag doon para maging stable sila. Usually, these elements are from, uh, example, yan is uranium. Ano mga napaka-unstable, pataas. Yan, elements. Next, gravitational force. That's the fourth one. Okay? What comes up must come down. Okay? Na natin masyadong explain yan. Let's go now to our intra Molecular Forces of Attraction or IMFA. Okay? Ito na yung main lesson natin. As you can see, these forces that hold atoms together within a molecule, it keeps the matter if it is solid or liquid state or gaseous state. Ayan. Look at this one. There is a word, keyword, attraction. Okay? Take a look at this GIF. They tend to somehow attract with each other. Tignan nga natin, there are uh, four types ng ating intramolecular forces of attraction. We have here the London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole forces, ion-dipole forces, and hydrogen bonding forces. Pakitake note na lang ito. Napaka-importante mga keywords sa ating lesson for today. Yung dalawa, the first two forces are also known as Van der Waals forces. Okay? Itong London, tapos si Dipole. These are discovered by Johannes uh, Van, Van der Waals. Okay? Uh, the London dispersion forces is the weakest type. Tandaan niya yun, Okay? The Dipole-Dipole forces naman is present among the polar molecules. Look at this one. The positive end of each mo molecule is attracted to the negative end of other molecule. 
Yan. Parang sa magnet, ano? Positive is attracted to negative. Madali lang naman ang London Dispersion Forces. Sa buhay ng isang uh, atom or molecule, they tend to be on this position. But due to the itong mga molecules, uh, itong mga electrons natin, the negative charge, medyo makukulit sila, kuminsan, they displace themselves on yung tinatawag natin ito. Ayan, no? napunta sila on this state. There are, there are parts of the mol molecule or the atom that are what? Concentrated yung kanilang negativity where the electrons reside. Napag-aralan natin yan sa uh, ano yun? Anong lesson na yun? Of course, the polarity. Kung minsan, mas maraming this one is mas, mas nagiging negative, this one is positive. Now, uh, during this time, pag naganito na yung position ng mga atom, madadamay na rin yung isang atom. Parang, uy, nagganon siya. So, ang nangyayari, since electronegative ito, negative part, yung ditong part na ito, okay, na-attract na rin at minsan napupunta na dito sa part na ito yung pagiging positive niya. Kaya, the atom number 2, okay, <laughs> the atom number 2 is nadadamay siya. So, the positive ones goes here and the negative ones are away from this part. Tandaan, positive attracts the negative. Okay, so sabi, sabi nga doon sa science kwela, hindi habang buhay tuod ang isang or hindi gumagalaw ang isang atom or molecule. They tend to move on this position. Ayan. Sa dipole-dipole, ayan na nga. Tignan nyo dito. Look at this one. Ito nyo, yan yung mga lit na yan. This is negative. This one, this part is positive. Ayan. They tend to attract. Okay? In dipole-dipole interaction, okay, there is an intermolecular force that is caused by dipoles. Ayan. In a dipole-dipole interaction, similar partial charges line up further than the opposite partial charges. Look at this one, no? Negative silang dalawa. Pero hindi sila nag attract because this one, this part is negative, much negative. Okay? This one is much negative and this one is much negative. Pero pag ito napunta sa isang malapit na ganyan na position, they tend to attract. Okay? And that is the reason why the water has what we call the surface tension. Okay? Tandaan, H2O. Look at this one. This blue, yan o, yung blue na yan, yan o yan, yung blue na yan, they tend to be, okay, they tend to be, what? Positive. This one is negative. Mas negative yung, yung oxygen kasi siya yung mas kumuha eh. Diba? Okay, mas, siya yung mas kumuha ng hydrogen atoms. Okay, so they tend to be negative. Look at the position of this one. This, this ano, oxygen atom is somewhat, how, somehow attracted to this partially negative part. Tandaan, negative part ang ang ito, 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 itong hydrogen uh, this, the positive part rather. Okay, ulitin natin ha. Tignan natin itong oxygen. Okay, look at this one. The oxygen tends to be the more negative one. And the positive ones are the um, hydrogen. Now, they line up on each other to form this what we call the surface tension of the water. That's why when we put the paper, paper clip on the surface of the water, na dahan-dahan, merong pa force na nagpipigil sa kanila para hindi sila mag-break down. This is why the basilisk lizard ay kayang maka-walk sa water. Kaya niyang, uh, hindi siya lumulubog dahil hanggang doon lang siya doon sa part ng surface tension ng water. Same goes well sa nakikita natin sa baha, yung tinatawag nating water strider. Ayan, nakita nyo na ba yan sa buong buhay ninyo? Ang galing, ano? Let's go now with dipole ion forces. Madali lang naman ito kasi we are using water and an ionic compound, okay, in this forces. Yeah, for example, in this picture, yan. There is an electrostatic attraction between an ion 
and a neutral molecule that has a dipole. A dipole, ang pinakamagandang example ng dipole is usually the water. Let's go with the fourth one, hydrogen bonding forces. Madali lang rin ito. Occurs when hydrogen bonds with what is F? Ano yung F? Chlorine. O is oxygen and N is nitrogen. Tandaan, they have high boiling points and melting point to break their bonding forces. As you can see, a water takes a long time to boil because it requires a lot of energy to break its hydrogen bonds. Diba? Ang tubig. Uh, ang tubig natin. Uh, it needs a few hours tapos talagang kailangan mo ng uh, heat para maging ano siya, maging mainit siya and kung gusto mong maging gas siya in a form of gas to break the hydrogen bonding okay uh, the strong okay the term is strong it needs a high boiling point yan boiling point at melting point yan ang hydrogen bonding forces okay look at this one we have here the water and alcohol my question is which compound will boil faster and why Lagay niyo yan sa comment section natin. Okay? And lastly, let's have a brief summary on our lesson for today. We have four types of IMFA or intermolecular forces of attraction. We have the first one, the weakest. Ayan o, no? weak siya oh. The weakest of them all, the London dispersion force. Lahat yan ay present sa molecules na pag-aaralan din natin na hindi habang buhay tuod sila at napupunta sila sa positive at negative na state. Okay? Dipole-dipole forces present in polar molecules. What is their strength sa dipole-dipole? There are moderate. Moderate strength. Okay? Look at this one. Ion and dipole or dipon, dipole ion force the solution of ionic compounds dissolve in polar solvent. Yan. The strong, there is a strong uh, strength on this forces. Okay? And the hydrogen bonding, kapag ang hydrogen ay nagbond sa fluorine, ayan o, fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen, what is the relative strength? Strong. Ayan. This ends our lesson for today. Thank you for listening to Chayenzen TV. Subscribe at keep safe guys. Thank you for watching.